What's good YouTube and welcome to another video I'm Ezekiello. As I promised, I'll be doing a full camera test of the OnePlus 5. And to be totally honest with you all, I've done that and I'll be showing you all that right now. But before I get right into that, there are some things you have to take note about the OnePlus 5 camera. Uh, first of all, I'm not really happy about it. It didn't really deliver as promised. Yeah, I think it was overhyped in my opinion. Uh, it's not that camera is bad really in any way, but it didn't. it failed to really deliver. As much as it was hyped, I thought it was going to produce stellar images. Uh, the images are not bad, they are really they are good, they are quite good, but not up to my expectation. I expected much more. Images are quite soft when you're shooting in low light, whether you're taking photos or recording video, the images are quite soft. You have to take note, the front facing camera shoots 1080p, it maxes out at 1080p, unlike the Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, that shoots up to 1440p if you're shooting video with the front facing camera. When you're shooting 4K video, no electronic image stabilization at 4K. The image is very shaky. That's what you get when you're shooting 4K video with the OnePlus 5. The image is very shaky. But OnePlus has promised an update very soon in the near future. There's going to be an update that will bring electronic image stabilization when you're shooting 4K video. So with that out of the way, I'll be showing you all now some video samples and photo samples. So let's get right to it. So here's with me now with the front facing camera. Okay. So Right, so now I'm shooting 4K in low light, 4K video. So let's see how the OnePlus 5 stacks up to the Samsung Galaxy S8. Alright, here we go.
If you have the OnePlus 3T already, then there is no need upgrading to the OnePlus 5. But if you own maybe the OnePlus 2 or OnePlus 1, then fine, the OnePlus 5 is a good upgrade for you. But if you own the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T, in my opinion, no need for an upgrade. It's better you skip it and wait for the OnePlus 6 or even OnePlus 7. The dual camera at the back do quite a pretty job. It creates this blurry background and it puts the image in focus while it creates a blurry background behind. It takes some time and practice getting used to before you can really get that blurry background and feel and make sure you get the camera very close to the subject you're going to take. Once you get a hang of it, it works pretty well. Yep, so that's pretty much it. My take on the OnePlus 5 dual camera. Are you satisfied with the camera? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? Thanks again for watching. I am Ezekiel and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Adios.